Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you have been here before and welcome if this is your first time watching. I'm Jude, I do Eurovision reactions and yeah hi, I'm reacting today to Eurosong 2022, a selection from a place that I've actually never reacted to a selection from before. Um, however, I probably should have. This is the place where I am from. It is Ireland, um, their Eurosong 2022. I'm going to react to a recap of the songs of the hopefuls to represent Ireland in Eurovision 2022 in Turin and give you my opinions on each of the songs um, from the snippets. However, there's one song that I have streamed probably about 87 times already. <laughs> um, one song in particular. And if you can't already guess what that is, you'll soon know because, yeah, I will praise this song endlessly. It's incredible. Um, but I'm going to give you my honest opinions on all the songs as we go along. And yeah, let's get into it because it's time for my country, which um, never really does well. So let's hope that there's one that can do well this year. And so earphones are in and I'm pressing play. Okay, Real Love by Brendan Murray. His voice is very unique. It's yeah, such a strong falsetto song. And it actually sounds very Irish music, I guess. This is the kind of music I would hear on the radio. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's just not very me. I would probably wouldn't listen to it. Um, it's really not my favourite. But it's a decent song. I could see Ireland choosing it because he's represented Ireland before. Will he qualify with it? I'm not sure. It dep really depends on the standard of all the other countries. Um, but anyway, next up is Rachel Good. I'm loving me. Let's go. This feels very retro, um, giving me major The Ride vibes because the people who wrote it also wrote The Ride about that Rafael sang last year for Poland. It feels generic in that kind of uplifting kind of way and um, that kind of it feels very what you would say is a typical Eurovision song even though it isn't a typical Eurovision song it kind of has that vibe to it it kind of has that predictability element to it I'm not sure if it's Ireland's best choice but if it goes I don't think it'll qualify I'll put that out there okay next up is Ashes of Yesterday by Janet Grugan who yeah has been well after the Twitter No, this song is supposedly a song that was made specifically for Eurovision, specifically to be a Eurovision bop. Her vocals are great. However, it sounds very pre-2010. That's all I can say about that. Very pre-2010. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that song in particular. It's just not incredible. In my opinion, it's not. It doesn't have that vibe. It doesn't have a winner vibe of your song never mind a qualifier in eurovision yeah i like it just not enough but anyway next up will be that's rich by brooke scullion so let's yeah rich when it's coming from you well that's rich brooke scullion is the moment she is a legend that's rich you think i dressed up for you well that's rich i love this Genuinely. It is pop. Yeah, that's rich. It's so sassy. It's so... I don't know. It's very different. It feels so modern. It's so current. I have listened to that song so many times. I've memorised pretty much all the lyrics at this point. Um, Brooke Scullion lives reasonably close to me, actually. Um, a legend. She's the best thing from Cookstone since sausages, um, and that's saying something, because the Cookstone sausages are great. <laughs> that's a really Northern Irish inside joke. Um, Brooke Scullion, the legend herself. Um, I love her. I love the song. She was on The Voice and got through to the final, and she has incredible live vocals. Ireland, make the correct decision. I'll leave it at that. Next up, we have One Night, One Kiss, One Promise by Patrick O'Sullivan. Okay, this is kind of meh. 
I'm really not enjoying it. It feels just kind of... It feels just kind of bland compared to... I mean, see anything coming after that's rich. It just feels a bit bland. Um, yeah. I'm just not sure how I feel about it and how I would feel about that representing Ireland. It just falls a bit flat. It feels a little bit meh. And I just wasn't loving it. Really, I wasn't loving it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> next. Yeah, we're going to get out of it. What a title of a song. Um, very unique title, but let's go. Oh, this sounds... I'm trying to think who it reminds me of. It sounds very dated. Very, very dated. I'm just not sure how I felt about that. It's a bit... It's a bit... I don't know how I would... If I would ever listen to that. Genuinely, it sounds and feels so... Ages ago. Um, yeah. His voice is fine. The children sing in the background a bit. It just, I don't know, it just feels a little bit odd. Um, but there's one song that really stands out to me. And there's one song that I would absolutely love my country to send to Eurovision. And that song would be That's Rich by Brooke Scullery. And I don't think I can talk highly enough of this song. Because I don't think I can praise Euro song for the song quality. Um, unless they've done this so that Brooke wins. <laughs> by a landslide. I really hope she does because she deserves it so much. She is an incredible advocate uh, for learning and education. She has an incredible voice, she has an incredible song and I think she could do really well for Ireland. She already has, you know, video campaigns up. She already has incredible snippets. She's already, you know, interacted with fans and that is so important for this. Um, I really, really, really want Ireland to send Brooke. Like, really. If they don't, I will continue to stream That's Rich because it is incredible. But um, Ireland, you know what to do. And that is all the time I have for today, guys. If you did like this video, then don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. What's your favourite song? Who do you want Ireland to send to Eurovision? Let me know in the comments down below. And so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.